I'm David Paha, I'm an artist from Chicago, and I make pen and ink drawings based on process. So my artistic process is, uh, it's kind of based on precision, where you draw a line as precise as possible, but being human, the line will naturally waver and create these mistakes. So instead of trying to avoid that and be scared of mistakes, I try to make this precise line, and then whenever a mistake happens, the next line that I draw, I exaggerate the mistake. And this process continues on and on, and it just creates its own texture that just naturally emerges from the process. It can't, it can't really be planned. This process of drawing actually comes out of music. My formal training is in music, so whenever I planned a piece, I would draw diagrams visually to help me plan the music, and I noticed that cool shapes would emerge and I kind of followed that and realized that it became a, a, like a medium of its own. It could just be this, these visual pieces of art. And so that's where it was kind of born out of. I think the role of my art, the purpose of it is to most naturally mirror nature. I'm trying to pull myself out of the process as much as possible to kind of take part in it and let it naturally unfold. And you get things that appear in nature all around us. When people view the art, I want them to kind of fall into the art, fall into the shapes and processes and the textures, and use that as a sort of meditational tool to transcend their everyday thought processes, the thing that they carry with them all around on a daily basis. The making of an art from my end is this process of unloading myself or letting myself go, which can be very beautiful and constructive. And then if I can sort of give that to an audience, then when they experience that, then they get to go out into the world and also spread their own beauty, their own constructive processes. I have fun with my art because I get to sort of just fall into it. And I never really know what the final thing is going to be. It just sort of naturally comes out. So I get to kind of play the role of observer. And then when this shape actually comes out at the end, it's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs>